Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that help provide context to today's public affairs issues. Their Majesties Visit the United States of America is a 30-minute Afghan government film documenting the September 1963 trip of Afghanistan's king and queen. Muhammad Zahir Shah was the last king of Afghanistan, reigning from 1933 until 1973 when a coup abolished the monarchy. Returning to Afghanistan after many years in exile, Muhammad Zahir Shah was given the symbolic constitutional title Father of the Nation and is seen on the right in this photo when Hamid Karzai was sworn in as Afghan president in December of 2004. The former king died in 2007 at the age of 92. Next, from the Kennedy Library, a film following the royal couple from Washington, D.C. to many stops in the U.S., including former President Eisenhower's farm, Cape Canaveral, Florida, Disneyland, and New York City. Visits of state call for dinners of state. Because his wife is ill, President Kennedy has asked his sister, Mrs. Eunice Shriver, wife of the director of the United States Peace Corps, to act as official hostess. At our embassy, His Majesty himself entertains. He meets the Chief Justice of the United States and many other leading members of the national government. The White House in Washington is both residence and office for the United States Chief Executive. The two leaders meet several times to talk about matters of common interest to our two countries. Economic development and social progress are among the most important subjects that they discuss. Washington has many parks and memorials. This one commemorates Abraham Lincoln. A hundred years ago, Lincoln became one of the greatest presidents of the United States. A man of infinite patience and determination, he led his country safely through its greatest crisis, a civil war. Today, their majesties visit the Lincoln Memorial. To understand any country, one must learn about its past leaders. Abraham Lincoln had great power of expression. His words, as well as his spirit, add solemnity to this beautiful memorial. The Washington Monument, an obelisk of stone 185 meters high, dominates the city skyline. It honors George Washington, the first president of this country, for whom the city itself is named. Mount Vernon, his old home, lies a few miles south of the capital and many thousands of people visit the place where he lived and died, and from which he went forth to become a hero of history. <laughs> 